Now, in my past video, I slammed Linux gaming. I was like, how is it this bad compared to Windows in Elden Ring? But one thing I left off on that last video is simply the fact the Steam Deck plays this game at a capped 30 FPS. And that is amazing because the Steam Deck's hardware kind of is meh. It should never beat a desktop computer that I'm running on. And right here is Linux. And the one I was running on Tuesday was also Linux. A Linux system I had for probably six months or so was the last time I wiped it out. And I did a bunch of different stuff to it. And I could not even equal the Steam Deck on that old install. So the, the, today... The entire day, all I've done was wipe it out, revisit it, do all the different settings. I'm like, if Steam can make that little tiny processor do all those things on Linux, there's no reason we can't. And this is what I have to show for it. Now, there's a couple things I want to note here. This is still not very optimized. This is stock settings in a lot of different ways. It's using the Proton Experimental from Steam. I was working with Glorious Egg Rolls version. It was having some issues, so I went complete stock with this install. I wiped out all my Linux. This right here is actually Fedora. I installed Fedora. This is obviously a highly customized version of Fedora because I hate GNOME and some other Linuxy things that I had to personally change, but you don't need to. That's just... Uh, my layout but what i wanted was this this right here all these workspaces virtual desktops working in tandem with my gaming experience so i don't have the craptasticness of windows and the gaming aspect uh, because if i can play elden ring on this brah I'm not going back to Windows for at least another couple days. <laughs> I joke, but, uh, you know, I, I'm just saying this is actually really nice. And we were seeing frame times. And if you look at our frame times down there, again, we're looking for like really heavy stutters and other stuff. And this is just the intro area. And we'll look through here. You'll see it's pretty darn smooth. You might see a little hiccup, but man, that graph, those frame times graphs, very, very solid. And this is running at a higher resolution than I was running in Windows. So it's a lot sharper. So I'm noticing a big difference in the actual graphics, which right there you see a little bit, but not too much. I, it's very hard to point out if I wasn't looking at the actual frame times. And bam, right back to where we were. So a pretty good run through. And if you look at the system settings that we're running, this is running a full 1440p and only these things, three things are off. Everything else is on a high end on just a Vega 64. So about a four or five year old GPU is doing the, these kind of results. And this right here is very, very playable. We can go ahead and run down to a bunch of monsters. One second, I'll time lapse this. So now we are in some water with some reflection, but there's not as much like particles in the air and stuff. So it's actually a little easier. And you can see, we can just run through here, see a bunch of monsters, but man, look at those frame times, just smooth as butter. I can just sit here all day and not run into any hiccups, which frankly, I can't really say that on Windows. So if you're just looking at this, you're not gonna get this result on Windows, much less you're gonna be running at a lower resolution. So I, I, I called BS. I was like, there's no way Linux can beat Windows in its own game because this game is made for Windows. But I'm here to tell you, this right here is a better experience than what I was dealing with on Windows. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. 
I love it. Now let's go to Windows. We're rebooting to Windows and we're going to do this exact same thing, same settings and everything. Let's go back here. Uh, this is exactly what we're running. Advanced settings. We're going to mirror this in Windows and run the same exact route and see what we get. All right, we're back in Windows. It is time. We're going to launch back into Elden Ring and we're going to change a couple things. So here we go. When we launch back in, we're going to go and do exactly the same settings we had in Linux. And then you can get an apples to apples comparison between Linux and Windows. Because before it looked like Windows was runaway, which was, I've done a lot of tests. And I was like, oh, that's probably about right. But let's see. And we're going to go to set system. And we're going to mirror the settings we had. So we're going to have 1440p. Yes. We're going to go to advanced settings and we're going to change everything to high except those three options. So let's go ahead, switch those just like that. Continue. We'll go to the first step, which is right where the, the intro spits you out at in Elden Ring. We're going to run to the church and back, see what happens. All right. Same settings and everything loaded up. You can see the FPS from this one. It looks a little bit, it looks like the color temperatures is a bit different because this has the Radeon settings where Linux doesn't, it just kind of works off stock. So it's a little bit cooler colors. And we're running about, I'd say six or seven FPS under Linux. And that frame time is not as smooth. So we saw just a little bit of a jolt there in the frame time down to the church. There we go. And nothing too bad. A little couple little hiccups there. But the frame times have a little bit more jitter than the Linux counterpart. So here we go. We're coming back. And then right before we hit the first step down here, you'll notice it usually lags right as we hit this hill coming up. And that's where it does on Linux. Like right in here. Usually there's a little bit of a hiccup. Yep. There it was. And back. That's what the frame times look like on Windows. Now, let's time lapse it to where all those things are, were in the water and see what our FPS is at. All right, here we are. We're at about a 40 FPS. And we're back. Right over here is where we ran into all our monsters. And we're just going to fly through here. And wreak some havoc jump down ah there we go run down here see what this looks like with our rats our rat friends i think we were at about a solid 60 very very close on windows here and that's about it right there Oh, chunky roll. <laughs> All right. So that was a quick run through Windows versus Linux. And I got to say, Linux is the winner here for me, which I, I've been hearing the reports, but I couldn't replicate it until just now. And this looks pretty good. And... I like both how I would say neither one's really that lackey. A lot of people are saying that it was super jittery on Windows. I wouldn't able to replicate that like many people have said. Uh, I did see a couple little jitters here and there, but nothing too crazy. I just kind of wanted to show these two things with uh, Windows compared to Linux on Elden Ring on a stock Linux install. Now let's get to that Linux install and kind of show you what I've done over there. All right, we're loading back into our Fedora instance here. And I want to just say up front, what was the deal with my first video? It was not even getting 20 frames and it was very, very all over the place as far as lag goes and other uh, considerations, much less not looking very good. And that was through Arch and it was an Arch install I did a while back. And I switched to Fedora mainly because of one reason, and it was because of Wayland, a display renderer. Now, most people use Xorg in Linux, and the reason why I chose this uh, renderer 
was mainly because let's just do a neo fetch and here's the stats that i was using and you probably notice not too much difference between this and arch so what's the what's the, what's the deal and i think what was ended up happening was because i was using xorg which is a different display renderer from fedora this was causing issues when i went to capture because i was splitting my connection this is running a 1440p at 165 hertz and what you guys are seeing right here is another display basically that's mirroring my display and xorg was just not handling this very pro i think it was putting an undue load onto the actual gpu causing lower frame rates on top of some other wonky customizations that i might have done over the past six months and really all i did was blow it out install fedora and then just hit dnf install steam when i had steam up and going which we'll go ahead and launch it uh, you'll notice a couple different things with how i uh, launched steam in steam all i've done here was add mango hud so i could see the fps uh, before a lot of people, it's funny, uh, <laughs> gaming on Linux tweeted at me. It was like, Hey, you spelled mango wrong. You, you spelled it Mongo, which was pretty funny. Uh, do game mode, uh, game mode. I haven't really seen much FPS difference either way. I've turned this off and I've turned it on, uh, but I went ahead and left it on as I didn't see any downside to having it on. And then this, so really even with all these off the stock setting, just blank was pretty good and compatibility i say go ahead and force proton experimental i tried glorious egg roll 7.10 i could not get that working it would just launch and then immediately crash so something's up with my configuration compared to what glorious egg roll has but proton experimental is working and working very well now uh on on elden ring so that's what the deal was with that whole thing and what valve has done with the shaders, I think, compared to what you see in Windows, compared to Linux, is substantial. Uh, not only is it playing a Windows game in Linux, but we're actually getting a little bit ahead of Windows and FPS in this game. Now, Elden Ring's a little bit of a weird game. Many Windows users will point that out. And one thing I really wanted to see on this is something like uh, a cyberpunk and i'm probably going to do a future video specifically on cyberpunk i'm updating it now and i wanted to talk about fsr and dlss which are upscaling technology so you could run at like a 720 resolution but make it look like you're running at like a 1440p resolution and you get all those sharp images but you have very, very little load on the actual system itself. And AMD itself is running uh, a new FSR, I think FSR 2.0 coming out, which is going to be huge for the entire realm of gaming. And uh, when I said in the past video, this is the future, and I showed you all the different things I was doing, I don't think it was a fair shake on Linux part because I was just showing one side, but I'm glad I did that because... I want people to know this this is a possibility it could just kind of be a dog on your system if you install the wrong distro and you have the wrong hardware it, it's linux is one of those things you kind of have to plan for and i knew my system would work right it's just something in there was messed up so i switched everything and blew it all out and said okay i'm gonna pick fedora mainly because uh glorious egg roll which does most of the game development in uh proton uses fedora and that was my whole rationale behind it as i always think distribution doesn't matter very much it's just different package managers to install stuff so i don't really care which one i'm in that's the only reason i picked fedora because i was like if he's in it that's probably going to be my best bet to get the best results for gaming and i gotta say the stock setting right out of the gate super impressed and I wanted to make this video to kind of make up for the Tuesday's video and show you the flip side of Linux gaming actually being better than Windows gaming, uh, which is very, very big. And if this keeps developing, I saw some comments were like, hey, I'm always going to be on Windows. And I'm like, hey, that's OK. But I know I'm sure as hell not sometimes because Windows, if they start putting ads in File Explorer and start keep doing the shenanigans they're doing, you might say, well, it, who cares if Edge is forced on me? I don't open it anyways. Uh, who cares if things are spying on me? I, I don't care about my privacy anyways. All these things start adding up and it's not those 
politics that I really care about. It's the performance impact of those things on my system to where I'm not getting my money's worth on the system I've purchased. I know it'll run faster and I know it'll last longer if I'm not uh, having these things forced upon me and if I can't fix them, which I always am going to be trying to fix those in Windows. It's not to say I'm completely done with Windows because you're never completely done with it if you're in IT. It's just uh, a necessary evil. But there you go. There's the flip side of Linux gaming being better than Windows. And on a game that I showed you on Tuesday that ran like crap on an Arch system that I had already, and then a fresh Fedora system, obviously running considerably better, almost, uh, I would say, over 200% increase in performance. So, there you go. <laughs> That's a, a fun tidbit that I wanted to share. Uh, the next video, I'm probably going to be going over FSR, going diving into that a little bit, and even showing on Windows probably the DLSS uh, technologies and kind of seeing those back and forth and how they work uh, because those are big time uh, improvements as far as using a little bit older hardware and getting new life out of it to where you can play on a 1440p monitor like me and have it look awesome while not having a, you know, a thousand dollar graphics card because that's how much they are now. <laughs> so with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and a big shout out to all the ChrisTitus.com members and the people that click the join button down below. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.